Hello and Happy New Year! It's 2017, time to make video number six. Thank you for joining me. If you remember the last video, we talked about Earth science. We talked about winter solstice, the Earth's tilt on the axis, and why we have seasons. In today's video, we're going to talk about life science, specifically evergreen tree identification. You know, like my evergreen model here? Do you know the difference between a pine, a spruce, and a cedar tree? If you don't, keep watching. By the end of this video, you will. You'll be able to impress your friends and family. This video has even better knowledge for you than the popsicle stick video, and that was a really good video. All right, let's talk about evergreens. Evergreen is a general term for plants that stay green all year, hence the name evergreen. And if you go outside right now in the Kansas City area, they are easy to find. The green leaves stand out against the brown, dry winter landscape. A common evergreen plant that you'll see is the yucca. It looks like this. They can grow in hot or cold climates, and evergreen trees aren't limited to cold. You always think of cold climates and evergreens, but they can also be in hot climates. All right, let's focus on the conifers. The conifers are a group of trees, and the first one we'll talk about is the pine. Pine trees you can identify because they have long needles. They look like this, and if you follow the long needles down to the base, you will find that they come in in a bunch. This one has five needles in it. Sometimes they have two. There's lots of different pine trees. There's scotch pines, white pine, jack pine, red pine, lots of different pine trees, but just remember that the long needles are the pines. All right, what about the short, scruffy, or the short, the ones with the short needles that look like this? These two are examples of spruce trees. And the thing about the spruce, just remember that they're short, the little short bunchy ones. Also, if you follow their needles, you'll find that they come off the stem individually, just one per one as you pull them off. Now, Spurs, like the Douglas fir, it looks a lot like a spruce. The difference is actually you have to get up close and maybe touch the needles. If the needles are square and strong, um, that's a spruce. If they're flimsy, if they don't really poke you hard and they can, you can kind of bend them in your fingers, that's a fir. So short and strong is spruce. The flimsy ones are the firs. The final tree we'll talk about, very common in Kansas, is this one. They are kind of scruffy looking trees. You can see them in the fields as you drive through Kansas. You can find them anywhere really in, in the eastern part of Kansas, probably the western too. If you look at these needle or the leaves, they really aren't needly. They they might look like it, but they're really just skinny leaves, and if you look up close, they're kind of scaly. But this is the cedar tree. Of course, cedars are, the wood is famous for keeping moths away. So people put sweaters in a cedar chest or they use cedar chips to, to keep moths away instead of mothballs. Anyway, I digress. Every, these conifers are, most of them, not all, are cone bearing. And there are other popular conifers like the bald cypress in the south beautiful tree and speaking of beautiful trees the redwoods in along the California coast oh don't you just love trees they're majestic I will finish today with a lesson that I remember learning from a Japanese man about pine trees and it was Toyo Sano's dad and Mr. Sano was teaching me about the art of painting kanji characters, and one of the characters represented an evergreen tree, which represents strength, because even when it's cold and winter and the climate is harsh, the evergreen stays strong. So the moral of the story is, 
when you are facing a winter in your life, number one, it's not going to last forever. And number two, just stay strong like an evergreen, whether you're a pine, a spruce, or a cedar. I'm Karen Rogers. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.